sometimes you get into this situation where you're very clear about what you want to build. You're very clear about the business you want to run. And then technology stops you. You're stuck. You're left going, how do I make this work? How is this possible? This is exactly the situation that the person was in when they, they sent me a note. And they said, look, I, I run a website, or I want to, where I record lots of audio files. And I want people to be able to listen to these, but I want to protect it. I want to protect it in a membership website. Now, I'll be honest with you. Anytime someone says, I want to protect audio or video on a membership website, I, I have to be honest. I have to say, look, if, you're, if your audio or your video is ever going to play on the computer, there are ways for people to save that, right? There are ways because it's moving through a sound card. There's ways for people to record that and keep it even after they've canceled your membership. So there's never a perfect solution. But this person wasn't trying to solve that. This person wasn't trying to say, I don't want the person who logs in to be able to save this later. They, you know, I don't want to protect against that. What they meant was, I want to protect streaming audio. I want to protect my streaming audio that I publish every week. I want to protect it in a membership site so that other people can't get to it. And that's when I said, oh, I, I have the answer for that. I, I can tell you that. See, I get on these calls pretty much every day, right? Over at clarity.fm, people s s set, you know, set up a call so that they can ask a couple questions. And they want specific answers to their specific situation. And so here we were talking, and they were saying, this is what I want, and I haven't been able to find it at all. It's my favorite time when I get to answer something and I can just say, uh, you, you need two components and you're good to go. Now, I want to be clear, they end up needing a few more, right? So let's talk through the whole solution. If you want to build a membership site that protects streaming audio, you likely want to charge money for it. So you're going to need uh, a membership plugin, but also some integration to a, uh, a payment gateway, some, some way to collect money. I recommend Stripe. You're going to need a membership plugin. I, I recommend in this particular case, member press. And then you're probably going to want some integration to email that sends out every time you, you know, every week when you've published new stuff, you want to send out notification or uh, you want to send people the, the welcome email or the follow-up emails. You may want to put them onto a mailing list. So you may want to look at MailChimp. And if you want member press to integrate with Stripe and MailChimp, the good news is it already does, which leaves us with the last component. And that fourth piece, that piece was the, how do I, where do I, how do I set up my streaming audio and, and how do I protect it so that other people can't get to it? And that's when I recommend SoundCloud. Because with a SoundCloud account, you can record and upload all sorts of audio that you can stream later, right? And all those audio files, you mark them as private. But every time you mark that file as private over on SoundCloud or you record it, you upload it, it gives you a private URL. And you bring that private URL to whatever page you've protected. In this particular case, they had just a monthly page, right? The January page or the February page. And on that page, they would have the links of all the stuff. Every week, they'd produce a new a new audio file, right? A new audio streaming audio uh, player they wanted to put there. And SoundCloud will give you that private ID. Well, what it means is if you go to SoundCloud and search for it, you can't find it. It's not public. And if you try and get to it and you're not a member, you won't get to the page because the page is protected. But if you create the page and you put the protected file right there, that link from SoundCloud will become that streaming audio. Once people log in and they go to the January page, they see the links to the streaming audio or they see the little player, they hit play and they get to listen to it. And it really is that simple. Take care.